Hello my friends and welcome back to another Christmas Decorate with me. In today's video we're going to be working on my kitchen as well as my coffee bar and I am so excited to have you joining me today. This is part one of my great room Decorate with me so make sure you come back for more. If you're not subscribed make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell to get all notifications and grab yourself something cozy to drink and let's get started. Before we get started today, I would like to thank our sponsor, Cheese. Cheese Ultra Clean Electric Toothbrushes are a perfect gift this time of year. For those that you love, I was so excited to get started on my electric toothbrush journey. I have never had an electric toothbrush before, um, and I was really worried about having one. However, my dentist recommended an electric toothbrush because they really do get your teeth the cleanest. I have incredibly sensitive teeth and was very nervous about using an electric toothbrush. However, the Cheese Electric Toothbrush Kit does come with three different cleaning modes, a sensitive cleaning mode for gum care and teeth protection, as well as a clean mode for micro vibration deep cleaning, and a white mode to improve intense stain removal. It also has a magnetic levitation sonic motor, which gives you up to 30 37,000 vibrations per minute and I have to tell you the best thing about it is it lasts the charge lasts for 300 days so you don't have to worry about charging it every night which is fantastic because I forget to do those things also comes in this really cute carrying case which is fantastic and it does uh, charge with this cord here so you don't have to worry about using batteries when you have the cord out and it's all plugged in properly it is completely waterproof so you don't have to worry while it's by your sink um, with it getting ruined so I will say the very first time that I used this toothbrush I was beside myself with how clean my teeth felt I ran to my husband and I said you have got to come try this toothbrush I literally feel like I just went to the dentist and got my teeth cleaned and because my kit came with four toothbrush heads, I have one and he has one for now. I am actually getting him one for Christmas. Hopefully he doesn't see this video. So I will say that probably the best part about this toothbrush is the price. I am not one to spend a ton of money, so I really do appreciate the price, especially compared to other electric toothbrushes. And even greater is I have a 30% off coupon for you down below. So definitely would recommend this fantastic electric toothbrush. And thank you so much, Cheese, for sponsoring today's video. You can find the purchase link as well as a 30% off coupon down below. Now let's get into some decorating. So I had my lovely husband and my oldest son bring up all of my Christmas boxes so that I could kind of comb through everything. I will say that I've got a lot of decor in these boxes, especially a lot of things that I have just kind of collected over the years, things that my mom gave to me that she wasn't using anymore, things that you know I was gifted, um, a lot of stuff that I either don't use anymore or never used. So I definitely need to do some um, purging of this material because I definitely did not use all of it. <laughs> 
Um, so when the season is over, just like I did with my Halloween decor, I'm going to go through those boxes and um, donate a lot of the things that I'm not using and only keep the things that I did end up using um, and only keep, you know, some things that I'll hand off to my kiddos, um, you know, that maybe I don't want, but the, they'll maybe want um, when they move out. So that is my intention for the end of the season. But right now I'm just going to go through these boxes. I'm going to pull out the things that I plan on using. I did end up pulling out all of it because I did do all of the decorating this day in um, my uh kitchen, my dining room, my coffee bar, as well as the entryway and the powder room and um, the buffet there. So uh, the, the table behind my sofa. So I did all of that decorating today, even though you're not going to see all of that today, that would be a very, very long video. So it is going to be broken up into multiple videos. Stay tuned, but it really came out beautiful. I'm so happy with the way everything turned out this year. Here's a look at what I plan to use to decorate all of the areas in my great room. Okay, to get us started today, we are going to start in my kitchen in the hutch. I have mentioned in previous videos that this is definitely my favorite place in my home to decorate. Although I will say for Christmas, I think the coffee bar was my favorite. I'm obsessed with how that turned out, so make sure you stay tuned. That is after the kitchen, but I last time that I decorated here in the hutch, I was really happy with the way that it looked. It's very warm and inviting. I love the neutral tones. I love all the plants. They're all real. Um, and I just think it looks really nice. So my intention was just to add in touches of red and Christmas. I like a very traditional look for Christmas. So very cozy feeling. I like a lot of texture. I like green and red and white and lots of Santa. And I just like all of those natural touches. Um, so lots of traditional colors. That's my intention here today is just to bring in a lot of red. I actually said to Danny as I was decorating that I actually think I need a little bit more red. Um, I know that probably sounds crazy when you looked at the table and saw how much I had, but I, I do have a lot of neutral things um, as well. So just, I really like red. It just screams Christmas to me. So that's what I'll be doing 
pulling in as much color as I can in all of the different areas, starting with this hutch, and I am obsessed with how it turned out. If you're curious about where things come from, um, I do have a haul, I have two Christmas hauls posted uh, that talk about where majority of these things come from. One thing that I have not mentioned are those adorable little cabin salt and pepper shakers. Those are from uh, Hobby Lobby, I believe. And um, as is that little tree that's beside it on, um, as is the little platform that the little tree is on. Those things are all from Hobby Lobby, uh, things that I already had, um, as well as the little truck and tree um, on the middle shelf that is also a salt and pepper shaker. I collect them, so I have a lot of them. Um, and the little house there that I'm adding is from Michael's. I did just recently pick that up that is not listed in any of my hauls. So I love how this all turned out. It is very cozy and red and screams Christmas and I love how it looks. And here's the hutch cabinet, all complete. I love this look. It is so pretty and screams Christmas. Next up, we're going to work on this dough bowl that lives underneath the cabinet. And again, just another area to have some pretty color. So I'm pulling in a red kitchen towel. This is from TJ Maxx. And I like having the towels um, in the dough bowl as well as on um, the trays. It just adds in a nice cozy texture. And I'm just layering in some um, vintage rolling pins and a little charcuterie board and I also pull in that really pretty um, tree plate that I just think is gorgeous it's got a nice gold trim I do believe it's from Target in the dollar section then we're gonna move over to this tray here in the kitchen I'm starting off with that super cute uh, Christmas tree um, I don't know what you would call that. I guess a lantern, I think. I'm not sure. Uh, but I plan to use it as a crock to hold utensils here in my kitchen. Um, I decided to take off the little handle since we didn't need it. And my intention is to just kind of create another little vignette area. I really don't use um, these utensils. They're really just for looks. I mean, I have them if I need them, but they're there for looks. I had a couple of little... Um, Christmas utensils that I have collected along the way and I did decide to also grab one of the little trees from the dollar section at Target um, again just to bring in some color and um, some you know Christmas winter vibes with these trees although I do have them kind of in different areas in my house all year long I do think they just add a nice color they bring some height I did put it on top of a glass um, uh, Tupperware dish there or you know just a glass um, leftovers container just to give it some height and then I grabbed this red gingham towel um, again a kitchen towel to add some texture to this tray and I've got that little pitcher there. That pitcher is inside of a bowl that I purchased at um, Home Goods. The pitcher is from, I don't know where, honestly. I've had it for so long. They did not come together. I put them like that. And then that cast iron spoon is something I picked up 
um, at a local antique shop. And I just think it's really pretty and cozy and screams farmhouse to me. Um, and now I'm adding in this home for the holidays uh, cutting board. I believe I got that at Michael's. No, maybe that's from Hobby Lobby. That might actually be from Hobby Lobby. It is usable, although it really is just here for color and some natural texture with the wood. I did decide it looked kind of sad by itself so I'm layering this marble uh, other charcuterie tray that says ho 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 although the words are covered it does just give a little bit of color now I'm just going to add in some final items to this tray these are wooden salt and pepper shakers um, it's a salt shaker and a pepper grinder from Target those do actually work and I use them all the time and then I'm also going to bring in a butter cloche and that will round out this really sweet little area in the kitchen. Moving to the other wicker tray here in my kitchen, I am adding in this adorable Santa jar. This is from the Target Dollar Spot. I love him. He doesn't have anything inside of him. I don't plan to put anything in there. Um, I just think that he looks really cute. And when you're not standing this close, he just kind of looks like he's peeking over the edge of the tray. It's really, really cute. And again, to add in some color and natural texture, I'm bringing in this wooden tree platter. I believe that is from the Target Dollar Spot. And I'm also filling up my salt dish from the Hearth and Hand line. Originally, I had planned to use a new frosted wreath that I had purchased at Hobby Lobby for the pantry door. However, I found this one in my goodies, my Christmas goodies, and I loved that it had the frosted cranberries on it. So I did decide to use this so that we had a little extra color of red here on the door. These frosted cranberry picks are from Hobby Lobby and I decided just to add them into this copper pitcher with this beautiful eucalyptus bouquet from Michaels and although it's not very Christmassy I do love the fullness of this bouquet and I think adding in the frosted cranberries is just the right Christmas touch. Thank you. 
Now we're going to move over into my coffee bar area and I'm getting started with my new favorite Christmas garland and that's the eucalyptus garland. Now this is purchased on Amazon. I talked about this in my other Christmas video as well as my Thanksgiving videos and I am obsessed with this garland. I got five garlands for less than $20 I believe. I'll have it linked for you down below and it's a really good quality. I just think it looks really classy and I am in love with how this turned out. It is my new favorite garland. This is Silver Dollar Eucalyptus, which I am obsessed with. I think that it's very farmhouse, it's very modern, and it's just a nice take on a different type of garland. I wanted something softer in this area, so I love how that turned out. That home for the holidays sign there is from Walmart. I got that last year. And my intention for the coffee bar this year was to have a lot of mugs on display. I wanted an incredibly cozy vibe, like you just walked into a little coffee shop in Aspen or you know, a little hot cocoa stand. I wanted it to feel like a Hallmark movie. That was my intention, so that's what we're going for today. That big giant Santa mug I just recently purchased at Hobby Lobby. It was super affordable and it's gigantic. Big enough that I was able to put that frosted tree there from Target. That sweet little hot cocoa uh, stack that I'm moving right there. I do believe that is also from the Target dollar spot and I'm just layering in some more mugs as well as that little hot cocoa sign there from Target. So very sweet and I love how that turned out. On the other side of the coffee bar now I'm adding in this Santa mug. Um, uh, I'm sorry, Santa hat plate. I believe I got that last year at Home Goods, and this is my first year using it because I um, picked it up after the season, so I didn't have it up last year in the house. And I did very minimal decorating last year because we didn't move in until December 19th. So I put up very little, but just enough that it felt like Christmas. So this year I went all out. I'm adding in another one of those flocked trees and again my intention was to stack and decorate with all of those adorable mugs that I have been picking up. So I've got that adorable Santa mug from TJ Maxx as well as the Target gingerbread house mug. Those little Santa, I'm sorry, snowman mugs are ones that I've had for years. My kids love those for hot chocolate. And then I did just purchase that tree mug this year from Target. I love it. Love the color that it brings. I love the shape of it. And it's so very cute. I don't remember where I got that other Santa mug that's in my hand, but we do find a spot for him. He just didn't really fit over here. So just going to get these all situated. And like I said, I think they just give such a cozy vibe. And then that sweet little um, cutting board there that talks about all I want to do is eat cookies and watch Christmas movies. That's from Target. And then I'm adding in some of those food picks with the Christmas trees on the end to bring in some color and a little bit of a whimsical touch to the mugs. Another tip to make your garland look a little bit elevated and a little more high end is to layer your garland. So I am layering in these red wooden beads from or wooden bead garland from Wonder Shop line at Target. It's $10 for this um, garland and I love this. I only purchased two originally. So I've got one here in the coffee bar and I use one in the powder room later, but I have since purchased more. So I think they're so pretty. I wanted to put them everywhere and I love the pop of red that they bring. So I had to snag some more. I did end up adding in this beautiful felt garland as well and the lights, but that was off camera. I thought I had pressed the the record button but I didn't so that's how that turned out I love a good layered garland I think it's so pretty and I am just in love with the sweet cozy vibe this brings On 
on my miniature blanket ladder that I picked up at Hobby Lobby, I am adding this sweet sugar cookie towel from the Hearth and Hand line at Target. Has a beautiful recipe for sugar cookies. And I decided to trade out the little creamer pitcher there for this sweet little Santa mug and more of those little food picks to add some color. And we've also got that little tray there for Santa that is from the Target line. Next up, I'm gonna display all of the Christmas mugs that I have left here on this mug tree. This is also from the Hearth and Hand line at Target. And these are all usable, that's why I put them over here. They're you know easy to grab, so if the kids want to make some hot chocolate or for Danny and I to use in the morning for coffee, we're just gonna get those all up here on the tree. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of this Christmas Decorate With Me. I absolutely adore how the coffee bar turned out. It just screams Hallmark movie to me. So very cozy and gives off all the Christmas vibes. I love it all. I want to say thank you again to Cheese for sponsoring today's video. And remember to check out down below for that 30% off coupon if you are interested in an electric toothbrush. And make sure that you stay tuned and subscribe for future videos. I've got more Christmas decorating for you. I also have some really fun cook with me videos coming up for the holiday. We're just going to do all the things holiday inspired to get us through this season. I hope you guys are having a lovely week. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a great day, my friends.